Good evening and welcome to the Class of 2021 Senior Awards. I'm Ms. Y. And I'm Ms. B. We first want to acknowledge this very special night for all of our students and families. This is to celebrate you and your accomplish accomplishments during the last four years. We are so very proud of you and we are excited to present to you tonight. We also, before we go on, would like to uh, make a huge shout out and a huge thank you to all of the teachers at El Camino, the staff at El Camino, who has been working with our students over the last year, um, the students, and most especially, we would like to thank our parents for working tirelessly the last year in supporting our students um, in the best way possible. And Ms. B and I have worked with several of you guys over the last year, and we know it's definitely been a challenge um, so really take a moment, parents, especially to kind of, you know, celebrate yourselves because this is a big deal. Speaking and, of celebration. Yeah, there's a lot to celebrate. Yes. Our students got into a lot of great schools, all of the UCs, all of the Cal States. So great job for our students who apply to those schools. We got MIT, Cornell, uh, what else? USC, University of Oregon, and so many more. So great job to our students who worked really, really hard and got into their schools. Um, and we are always here and we're so proud of you to support you throughout the process. We hope you enjoy the presentation. And again, class of 2021, you rock. Woo! Welcome to the class of 2021 Senior Awards. We will start the evening by celebrating our high honor graduates. These students have received a GPA of 4.0 and up throughout their four years of high school. These students will receive a gold stole. Great job, students. We are now moving into the AP Scholar Awards. There's a few different categories amongst the AP Scholar Awards. We will start with our AP Scholars. Uh, these students have completed three or more AP exams with grades of three or higher. These next group of students, AP Scholar with Honors, students scored an average of at least 3.25 on all AP exams taken and grades of three or higher on four or more of these exams. Next, I want to celebrate our national AP scholars. These students have earned an average score of four or higher on a five point scale on all AP exams taken and scores of four or higher on eight or more of these exams. And lastly, our students 
with AP Scholar with Distinction, these students have earned an average score of at least 3.5 on all AP exams taken and scores of three or higher on five or more of these exams. Great job, students. We will now move on to our commended National Merit Scholars. These students have been recognized um, through the National Hispanic Recognition Program by the College Board. Next, we will be going to our depart department awards. Uh, the department awards are divided by uh, each department on the slide. So starting with athletics, great job to our student athletes. Next, we're moving on to English. I just want to share before we move on to educational achievement, the way the department awards are selected is the departments usually come together and collaborate um, as a department and choose um, the students that really stand out, the outstanding students that they had in their department um, throughout the last several years. And that is how these students get selected. So great job. And now we want to celebrate our students in the educational achievement department. Moving to world language. Now we are moving into the math department who uh, the math department actually chooses specific uh, students for certain areas within the math department. So great job to our students in the math department. Next, we're honoring the students in the science department. <laughs> uh, 
Moving right into the business and technology department. Visual and Performing Arts. Shout out to all our creatives. Next is Military Science. Moving right into the social studies department. This next category is the California Scholarship Federation. So these are our students um, who have earned the CSF. The California Scholarship Federation recognized excellent students for their academic achievement, service, and citizenship for four or more semesters throughout high school. Next is our counselor and dean awards. So typically, if we were in person, um, the counselors would come up and say a little special something about the students, or the deans would come up and say a little something about the student they selected. Um, this is a very special part of our ceremony. Um, this year, um, where we'll celebrate these um, kids tonight, and these students will receive a special message from the counselor or dean that selected them. These students are being recognized for their perfect attendance. Shout out to these amazing students, outstanding students who have not missed a single day of high school. Great job. This next part of our ceremony is usually a very special one too. Um, these, are, these are our students who have been selected uh, by various community organizations. So they've received a community award and scholarships. Uh, typically, the, um, there would be a rep who would come out from each organization, uh, say a little something about the organization. Um, so um, we hope to have all of these people um, back next school year. Um, I want to give a huge shout out to these people for their um, continued um, support, financial support um, in our students. So um, yes, without further ado, this is the first portion of our community awards and scholarship. Also, I just want to note these students have gone through some kind of 
um, application process might have included just an essay or an interview um, for these various community awards and scholarships. This next category is our biliteracy students. So the seal of biliteracy is an award given by a school, district, or state in recognition of students who have studied and attained proficiency in two or more languages. Shout out to our bilingual kids. Next, we are moving on to the gold cords. These students are students who have uh, received a cumulative total GPA of be between 3.6 and 3.99 throughout their um, four years in high school. This next series of students are silver cord students. These are students who have received a cumulative GPA between 3.0 and 3.59.
Great job to all of our amazing students. This last category is dual enrollment, which is a new category that was added this year. Uh, these students who were uh, dually enrolled in high school while at the same time taking community college classes um, on the El Camino campus. This brings us to the end of the presentation. Thank you so much for being here. A big congratulations to our seniors and their families on a unique senior year. Um, I just want to add that um, all of you guys will be receiving a program uh, during your cap and gown pickup along with um, your cord, a uh, stole a uh, certificate or whatever it was that you uh, received. Again, a great job and um, best of luck in your next chapter. Let's celebrate. Thank you so much. Have a great night.